Hello. Um, for this video, I would like to talk about um, a modification to the Yushin Cube. Um, if you saw my review about the Yushin Cube, I mentioned that probably the best part of the cube um, is the springs inside of it. Um, and what I did was I talked about um, how cool it would be to take the springs out and put them into a better cube. So what I did is I took a cube for you core and I took the screws and springs and the centers out and I put it in this core and I put my type A um, new type A pieces into um, this new core and uh, what happens is is it ends up working very very well because the difference between these center pieces and the um, type A the new type A center pieces is that this part right here is rounded on the type A this part right here is squared so what happens is since it's square it doesn't um, run as smoothly um, so I just wanted to do an experiment to see what would happen if there were round center pieces on the um, type A the new type A because the new type A has very very fast pieces but I was curious on whether or not the squared center caps were slowing it down so I did this experiment because I knew that um, the screws and springs inside the Yushin cube are really good so here's um, a little footage of my experiment anyway so uh, right now I am trying something I'm taking the screws out of my uh, Yushin uh, DIY because they're really good screws and I'm putting them on a Q4U core um, and then I'm gonna put my type A pieces which are right here um, they're on a plate um, kind of like these over here anyway I'm just experimenting to see if this works out and if it does um, that'll be sweet but anyway um, the reason I'm taking these screws is because they're they're massive screws like if you look how big the screw is like that's a really thick screw compared to like a standard screw here let me take a regular screw so you see hold on let me get the spring off so you see how much thicker it is and it has that little like cutoff point right there so that makes it really nice um, but I've had a lot of success with these screws so far and they worked really well. And again, I'm just experimenting with this, so I don't know if it'll work. But anyway, so much for that. So I'm just gonna continue taking my Yushin screws and centers because the, the screw's so big, you have to use the Yushin center because it's designed for that specific screw size. Um, but it's very similar in shape to the, uh, the Q4U ones. I'll show you guys in a minute. The center caps on the Yushin are very uh, interesting. And they're actually really good um, center caps. Or not really caps, but the center pieces. Um, and let me show you uh, real quick. Um, here's the core. The core is just this really cheap plasticky core. And you can s see kind of like the rivets are just torn away. Anyway, so the reason I'm using these um, new center pieces and new springs is because they're rounded right here. As you can see, um, the ones I'm using now, they're actually square. So you can see that they have like a point on it. So it's not very smooth because, you know, they're squares. To make it a nice smooth rotation, you need round pieces. And these are very similar to the cube for you speed cube, which I have right here. I was messing with it earlier. Um, but they're very very similar in shape um, so hopefully these will work very nicely another thing that's great about these uh, Yushin springs and screws well mainly the screws is that they have these really giant like rivets in them but the 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 Phillips part that sticks to the screwdriver is really big so they don't um, chip off easily or they don't um, uh, what's the word? Strip. That's what I was going to say. They don't strip very easily. So that's a really good thing about these screws. Since the heads are so big, um, that they don't strip. 
And they look really good so far. Just screwed in. So only got two more to go. Kind of making a mess, but whatever. It's worth it. So I need to know if these awesome screws are going to give me my super awesome speed cube that I've always wanted. Because I've been having some problems with the Type A. The pieces move really smoothly, especially because of the cutoff center. The cutoff center um, actually makes the cube move incredibly fast. And that's one of the reasons why it works so well. I put the uh, sliced off um, center, or sorry, corners. I put the sliced off corners in a Rubik's Brand cube. And the, the Rubik's Brand cube moved with incredible smoothness. So it's actually those um, cut off corners that make a big difference. That's why the Q for U brand, the new Q for U speed cube, doesn't work as well as the Type A because it has the regular corners on it. All right. And the great thing about these screws, these are a little loose. The great thing about these um, springs is that they're extremely loose. So they barely give you tolerance, which means it's going to keep it from popping very much. Because some screws or some springs give you a lot of tolerance. And these, they're very loose and weak, so they don't give that much tolerance. So they um, keep from locking, not keep from locking up, keep from uh, popping easily. All right, so now I'm going to put my Type A pieces on it and see what kind of cube we got here so if we can make a new awesome speed cube mm -hmm. oh wow it feels really smooth just all, just from halfway assembling I can, I can already tell it's really smooth so I'm it's gonna be really cool when it this is all put together I talked about doing this in another video but I never actually did it and then decided why not so here we go you guys are gonna see what this is like whoa okay wow that is a pretty drastic change. So look at that. Incredible speed. Crazy tolerance. Guaranteed no pops. Let me see what these look like. Okay. You can barely tell they're hybrid either. You know, most cubes, when you take them apart like this, uh, the centers or the pieces are different sizes. These are actually like the exact same size. You can barely tell that they're different. It's already smoother. It gets smoother by a lot. It feels like I just lubricated it, but I didn't. That's how much smoother it got. Okay, so here are the final results of the experiment. What ended up happening was, um, to test which cube was better, I used the standard new type A um, pieces, and I did a um, algorithm, which I did the counterclockwise uh, edge cycle, um, and I did an average of 20 between both cubes, and I realized that while I was doing that, um, the reason that this cube is so smooth is because of the square pieces I mentioned earlier. The square pieces actually help the edges lock into place. So it's kind of like a, a mini lock-in uh, system. So it, it, by keeping the pieces always aligned, um, it helps prevent lockups. And the smoothness of the rounded center in the Yushin Hybrid uh, made the cube smoother because, again, it was rounded. They had more freedom to move around. Um, but they locked up more because they weren't being aligned. Um, so I ended up liking just the regular type A the way it is because of the fact that it has that aligning mechanism um, that 
um, the centers are squared and that's actually why I realized that the creators of this cube made the square centers. I thought it was weird because I think it would uh, make more resistance, which it does, but the fact that it keeps all the pieces aligned constantly helps prevent lockups um, by a huge degree. So I hope the video um, helped. If you do like really smooth cubes though, that is not a bad way to go. If you don't mind a little bit of locking up, that cube will be really smooth for you and it'll be a great cube for you to get. So go ahead and try that and let me know how um, it works. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you have a question, post a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please go to my channel. I have a bunch of cubing videos, so I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, again, if you have a question, post a comment below. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. See you next time.